Today's reading is about Abraham, the man of faith. God asked him to leave his land of birth and go to a new land which God was going to show him. At his age of 75, Abraham went as the Lord directed him. He took his wife Sarai, his brother's son Lot, and all the possessions that they had accumulated, and they set out for the land of Canaan. I can imagine how difficult it must have been for the old man to do all the packing and the preparations for the journey, not knowing where he was going. But he trusted the most reliable voice of God. His obedience to God was going to guarantee the following. God was going to bless him. God was going to make of him a great nation. God was going to make his name great. God was going to bless all those who bless him and curse those who curse him. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this story of Abraham reminds me of the experience I had when after serving the Diocese of Mtata for 12 years, Pope Francis appointed me Bishop of Inguavuma. Packing all my stuff and getting ready to leave Mtata for Inguavuma was very emotional, for I did not know where Inguavuma was. On the day I left Mtata for good, I cried in the car as I was driving out of the city. It was as if I was saying, bye-bye, Mtata. I asked myself, where am I going? At that instance, it was as if a voice was saying to me, trust in God. He will never deceive you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today let us pray for the gift of faith. It is when we have deep faith that we will be able to be obedient to his word. It is when we are obedient to his word that we shall find it easy for us to move out of our comfort zones and be where God wants us to be. Let us pray that this moving story of Abraham may inspire us during this Lenten season. We pray that during this Lenten season, we may learn to listen carefully to God's voice and respond appropriately to what he is asking of us. If we do that quite faithfully, his blessings are awaiting us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.